today we're going to be spinning the wheel for bjorn ironside a brand new epic shadow immortal that just released here in infinity kingdom ladies and gentlemen there is a brand new immortal in infinity kingdom and no it's not ramses it's none other than bjorn ironside this immortal looks absolutely incredible incredible when i saw his design first show up i think they shared it on his face on their facebook page for infinity kingdom this design for this dude matt he looks so good i sort of wish they would let him keep his helmet on the entire time because i think it just looks absolutely in incredible it looks incredible not only that but he's also a shadow immortal so you know this guy is going to be incredibly powerful let's take a look at his skill here it says wither realm creates a scorched earth under your feet that lasts nine seconds and increases the damage dealt to the enemy team within the scorched earth by six percent at the same time our units gain 25 percent physical attack as life steal and our front row team's toughness rate is increased by an additional nine percent so that's obviously with no points in this okay so the damage taken goes from six all up to 20 percent and the resilience rate goes from nine to 30 percent so i think this toughness is actually supposed to be resilience so this is basically buffing your team and making the enemy take more physical damage which is insane how this turns into lifesteal i i have no idea but it sounds like bjorn could be really really good on a physically offensive team and today he shows up on thea's roulette we have 775 tickets we have an insane amount i think i saved up from last time theo's roulette came around i like got the bundles and then never spent for it for some reason so let's go ahead and spin as many times as we can and we're gonna try to get as much of bjorn as possible so let's go ahead and use our free spin we got some experience there nothing crazy i also don't even have belisarius unlocked on this account Account. this is my server 97 account so we're gonna try to get belisarius here today as well it's gonna be absolutely a, a byproduct basically it's just something that's going to happen so let's just breeze through these okay it looks like it's really difficult uh to get these sculptures here i think he's like the the least likely thing that you can get and there's himiko we've made videos about her before uh there's theodora i would love to get her as well um, but really what we're here for is bjorn so we're gonna just be just blowing through gems here to get Bjorn as often as possible uh and it looks like it, it is the case and one thing that I've noticed is that pretty much all the time the epic immortal fragments are going to be the last thing you get from this wheel which is definitely uh unfortunate but it is what it is let's go ahead and get our 50 spin reward we get 10 of Bjorn baby I love to see that so these fragments on the side here are all Bjorn this is his wheel no matter who you're spinning for it's gonna be Bjorn so hopefully we can get as much of him as possible there's Manko I'd love to summon him as well uh but Thea's roulette guys we know this this is always holy and shadow immortals you can get some of the best immortals uh, in the game from this roulette here so this is definitely an event that if you can get uh, some of these tickets you should so we're gonna be getting a ton of shadow uh dragon crystals here as well which is gonna be really really useful um we're, we're trying to pump up our shadow dragon and our holy dragon as much as possible those are definitely the hardest crystals for your dragon to get uh so just getting a ton of them here as sort of a byproduct of getting um bjorn is definitely uh is definitely awesome i love to see that so it is what it is we're gonna get a ton of belisarius here as well uh, we're definitely gonna be able to probably max him by the end of this um and luckily we're getting more more bjorn I try to say that five times fast more bjorn more bjorn more bjorn we're getting more bjorn here on the wheel uh without having to spend gems to refresh we do have tons of gems though so luckily we should be able to uh we should be able to, to to refresh for him every single time there we go baby we don't have to refresh anymore let's just keep breezing through these um so it's good to know guys if you are going to be uh you know spinning this wheel the probability is that it seems like every single time the um epic immortal is the last thing that you obtain um so you know make sure if you're gonna get these tickets you want to make sure you have enough tickets to actually complete the full wheel so that may mean saving up multiple wheels in a row of spending gems on the individual tickets uh, that's a really expensive way to do this so i don't know if anybody or if everybody's going to be uh, down to go that route but that is something that you can consider uh it's better to obviously spend all of your tickets to guarantee that epic than it is to spend a couple on each wheel and not get any of the epics that are exclusive to this event so let's go ahead and keep uh refreshing here we're down to 600 tickets um i would love to again get some more of these uh holy immortals that do show up here on the wheel um mainly because i definitely want some of the holy dragon uh crystals as well and unfortunately you're only going to get shadow dragon crystals if you're spending for bjorn 
so that is one thing to uh to keep in mind here oh my god all that was belisarius that's crazy let's go ahead and claim this here and we're gonna see how many fragments of bjorn do we have we have 30 guaranteed we, we have to be able to summon him at this point there's no way we can there's no way we can there it is dude oh my dude the, just this shadow boat the fact that the boat is floating it's like a ghost ship like it looks so sick dude it looks this is probably one of their best designed immortals i'm serious that i've ever seen so we have 110 of bjorn let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and get that summon man dude this he just he's so good looking he's just such an absolute monster he looks like he's like possessed by some sort of demon or something like that just really incredible looking uh immortal here shieldman is going to be his troop type and he is defensive so that is good to know definitely it seems like more of a supportive uh more of a supportive um immortal but there he is he's off in the stands there you're looking pretty cool go ahead and slap uh that, a point on that first skill there bada bing bada boom i'm spending so many gems just refreshing this for bjorn there he is dude there he is okay let's go ahead and continue spinning here i want to get a couple more fragments of him uh and then we're probably going to start to spin a little bit for some of the holy um immortals because again i need those those holy crystals for my dragon that's that's really what we're looking for uh on those wheels obviously getting to summon theodora and monko is definitely going to be um really nice to have for the account and you know if we make more immortal uh more holy immortal teams um, or armies then that's definitely going to come in really clutch there so 330 belisarius already that's actually insane let's go ahead and summon this guy i know this isn't really the main point of the video but this is definitely a nice little perk that we get him as well so that's really really awesome all right let's switch it up a little bit okay let's switch it up let's get a little bit of theodora in our life we're still going to be getting a ton of bjorn from the spin rewards off on the side there but like i mentioned i really do want to get a lot of these holy dragon crystals that's going to help me a ton um i think the holy dragon and the and the, um, the shadow dragon are definitely the ones that i am most interested at this point uh, in in the account right um luckily i do have access to a lot of really great uh, immortals so the ability to use those dragons is just going to be really really great let's spin a little bit for monko here okay i, I definitely would like to get uh, a summon of some of these guys so i don't know if it's possible with all of the tickets that i have left if we can summon monko and theodora is that possible you will have to see but we did just pass the 350 spin milestone so there's 10 more bjorn and uh let's keep spinning here for some of these holy crystals and uh maybe we can get some monko here as well and this is the good stuff i think i may have actually finished joan of arc as well so i'm not really uh i'm not really going to use those fragments either so it is what it is let's continue spinning here let's get some theodora in our lives as well as those holy dragon crystals baby that is the good stuff i like how they're just they're like this golden like honey looking ancient amber it looks really really good we should be able to summon theodore really soon here we're definitely running out of tickets so hopefully we can at least uh summon maybe two immortals in one video that would actually be really impressive this is going to be the last uh theodore wheel that we spin because we're going to have enough to summon her after this which is going to be great then we still need i think 30 more um fragments of monko so that's going to be what we go for next and then we'll go back to bjorn and if we have you know if we can we can spin the rest for bjorn and get as many of those as possible so here's going to be 10 of him uh so that's really great we did pass the 500 spin milestone so that's really impressive as well we're going to get more bjorn baby the fact that we're going to be able to take all of these um joan of arcs and just turn them into soul crystals is going to be incredible we already have been sitting on a ton of soul crystals um because i want to sort of strategically use those for skill upgrades for multiple armies so i've been sitting on a ton of them just sort of waiting until i have some time to figure out exactly what skills i want to invest in next um but this is definitely going to help let's go ahead and summon those guys as well I, do we have enough for both we do man we do all right wow okay we're getting a lot of summons in this video i was expecting to just do bjorn uh but the fact that we do have the ability to get manko and theodora now is actually really exciting um so his design looks really cool he's got this uh this eagle helmet on here um the royal founder sunflare gain control immunity for our holy immortals and channel a dazzling light for 15 seconds the light increases dodge rate to all allies by seven and a half percent after the spell channeling is complete cause physical damage with a damage of 60 to all enemies every three seconds until the battle ends energy will no longer be gained after the skill is cast so this is like 
one mega trigger and then that's it so shield and attack manko is uh, a really badass looking uh, warrior here looks really really good let's go ahead and summon theodore as well she's gonna be for the back row and uh this is uh, an immortal that came out um i think a couple of months ago actually at this point maybe two or three months ago and man dude that those like angelic wings i'm telling you dude the way the art for this game is just incredible so Theodora heals all allies HP with a recovery rate of 153 and dispels any continuous damage effects. If the target HP is less than 50 healing effect is increased by a hundred percent. So this is just an absolute AOE remove the debuffs, just heal everything, right? So really awesome Theodora there. Let's go ahead and claim our free gems for getting these guys. And we get 10 more of Bjorn and then let's go ahead back over and see um, how many more Bjorn we can get in 196 of these tickets. So let's go ahead and claim the 700 spin reward and uh, we're going to need 25. So that means we need nine more. Let's go ahead and get uh, nine more of these. Now I'm really tired of pressing this 1000 gem button. I really wish they would just give me the option to just like purchase all if that's like what I want to do. Like if I just want to spend 50,000 gems on this, they, it should just be like a one click thing. You know, we're just going to buy out all these tickets because I, I don't know what to do with these gems. So we're just going to spend all these gems on the wheel. And uh, I think that'll be a pretty good investment. Even if we don't spend all of the all of the tickets now, we can save them for the next time the wheel comes around. And that'll be uh that'll be just fine all right let's go ahead and do this one last time one more full one for bjorn baby and then we will be good to go all right let's go ahead and take a look let's see how many skills can we put on bjorn that is the question there he is can i add another on him is that possible we can excellent we can probably do one more yes let's go all right so we got bjorn to three so I love that. I love that. Let's go ahead and let's see how far we can take Belisarius. I don't know. Can we finish him off? I think we might be able to there. We had just enough. We had just enough to finish off Belisarius. That is what I'm talking about. Okay. So we don't have any extras of him. It is what it is. That's fine. Do we have Joan is finished, which means we probably have a ton of Joan of Arc that we can get rid of right now. Let's go ahead and lock Bjorn so we don't accidentally get rid of him in, in later down the line. We have 360 Joan we can get rid of, which is going to be a ton, a ton of these soul crystals. And you see, I already have a ridiculous amount. And I know, I know it's ridiculous. It's irresponsible, in fact, to have this many because it means I'm just like not, my account is not up to its potential. Okay. I understand that. I know. Um, but I I'm saving them right now to make sure that I invest in the right skills because skills are a big investment in this game. Right now you can see that I actually have Elizabeth Bathory in the back row of my holy team. What we could actually do is convert this entirely into a shadow team. So let's see sort of what the best strategy would be here. I want to see what am I using? Yeah, Ned B is in my fire team right now, but I think that that's not. Oh, I guess I guess we don't really have a choice because uh, I think Gilgamesh is great back here, but I, I don't know. Maybe we can. I mean, we could do Belisarius, right? We could put Belisarius here in the front row. I'm just worried that we have a lot of defense on the front row. Is there going to be enough damage coming from Elizabeth and from uh, Ned B back here? These are pretty high damage dealing uh, immortals in the back row. The only downside with Med B and also with Himiko is that they're dealing magical damage and the buff from Bjorn is actually going to make the enemy uh it's going to increase our own unit's physical damage by 25 percent so I think what's best is obviously more physical damage in the back row would be better um what is our guy our Khan is not really in a great spot but Khan would be somebody that you could sort of throw in here I know he's not shadow but he just deals a ridiculous amount of physical damage like it's <laughs> like it's actually insane um or we could do something along the lines of Gilgamesh which is probably what I'm gonna do at this point um again he's not shadow but he does deal an insane amount of physical damage to all enemies um and then continues once every three seconds for nine seconds it's this is probably going to be the the route that I go um obviously I wish Bjorn was a little bit more a uh, little bit more skills on him and then someone to replace Belisarius would probably be better but I'm thinking if you are using Bjorn, um, this is probably what I would do for my current account. Obviously, I don't have all of the things that would be perfect for him. Now, obviously, if I had Siegfried, this would be a no brainer for the front row instead of Belisarius. He's not only dealing some extra damage, but it is physical damage, which is really, really nice. And also, if we take a closer look at Bjorn's skill here, while he does give you the 20% increase in physical damage as lifesteal, 
I think the more important part here is the resilience and damage taken increase by 20 percent um so I think maybe it's not so necessary that you have only physical damage for example you could have um like I mentioned before you could have Himiko in the back row just dealing crazy damage even though she's magical it still would probably be a really solid setup for you now when it comes to skills obviously a lot has to still be tested with Bjorn since he is so new into the game but I do think obviously he is a defensive immortal so having more defensive skills on him is probably your best bet especially in the front row so if we take a look here I would say if you're sort of in the earlier game you can go with something like magical shield paired with physical shields and you could also do something like defense blessing here and this just stacks up a bunch of tankiness all together um obviously you know Bjorn is a an immortal that is going to be pretty difficult to come by for a lot of players He's also somebody that you're probably going to be investing in a lot later than other immortals as well so for those of you who are really end game players who are investing a ton into your armies i would say that if you're going to go for a full epic set of skills you could start with something like resist to reduce magical damage taken this is sort of like just a better version of some of the elite skills that we were just talking about and then pair that up with oaken guard and this is basically the physical damage version of that and then all the way at the end here you might want to try out shelter to give you a little bit of hp recovery but bjorn is a brand new immortal right so obviously we need to see a lot more testing by a lot more players those top tier players who are always getting the latest and greatest things paying attention to what they're using in their arena teams and things like that is probably going to be the best strategy moving forward all right let's go ahead and test out Bjorn what I'm going to do is go through the well of time with Caesar and then we're going to replace Caesar with Bjorn and we're going to see how that goes obviously my Caesar has five skills whereas my Bjorn has three so Caesar has a little bit of an advantage here but Bjorn is shadow so he will have the type advantage so we're challenging 8-2 here we're testing it out first with Julius Caesar we're gonna see if maybe we can pull off a, a victory here with Caesar in the front row we've got some nice true damage coming from that shadow dragon just absolutely blasting them the holy explosion of energy that comes out of Caesar is actually really sick so we're doing really well here um we're gonna take a look at the stats afterwards to see sort of what the impact of each immortal had here and maybe we can sort of make a nice uh, comparison between Caesar and Bjorn so we are uh some taking some heavy damage from this second round of uh of minions here so really unfortunate stuff there but hopefully you know we should be okay it looks like Caesar and Belisarius are really taking a ton of hits Belisarius apparently is the weaker link here so Julius Caesar hanging on for dear life trying to make sure that everybody survives this for the final round and it looks like we are able to defeat the minions so now all it comes down to is the final siege of the city wall and hopefully we've got enough damage in the back row to make this happen it looks like we are able to take it down with Julius Caesar barely surviving um so let's go ahead and take a look at these stats here just to get a better idea of what is going down so as far as damage goes we've got Julius Caesar dealing 816,000 damage Elizabeth in the back row just dealing an insane amount of damage there absolutely incredible all right so we're gonna keep this in mind and then let's go ahead we're challenging it now with Bjorn you see him running in there with the dual axes man he looks really really cool so let's hit him with that damage from the shadow dragon and then let's see how quickly we can take this down hopefully we see better performance from Bjorn than with Caesar that would be ideal especially considering he is shadow so you do get the extra bonuses by having a full shadow army however like I mentioned he only has three skill points on him so Caesar definitely has the advantage in that regard so we are uh we're, we're tanking some heavy damage at this point it does look like I believe Caesar was performing better at this point than Bjorn is um Belisari is still hanging on there for dear life trying to take out this horde of minions and honestly I think we're performing better right did did Belisarius even make it to this the Belisarius didn't even make it to the siege in the last one right so I think we're actually seeing better performance here out of Bjorn than we did from Caesar which is definitely interesting considering he has fewer skills on him so I am really impressed on on that change I wasn't expecting it to be so massive let's take a look here so with Caesar Belisarius dealt 230,000 damage you can see it's more than doubled here with Bjorn 
Bjorn himself dealing more damage than Caesar did as well both Bjorn and Belisarius taking less damage than when Caesar was in play I think the difference here was the resilience increase on Bjorn's active skill uh the healing as lifesteal thing only helped Bjorn a tiny bit it seems but the fact that Belisarius survived I think is probably the major difference in performance between the first and second run here so it seems like Bjorn is going to be a really solid uh addition to any team especially considering the fact that this was all full shadow March so you do get that five unit type bonus uh, so keep that in mind that is obviously going to be an advantage of Bjorn over Caesar if I had Siegfried I probably would have tested maybe Siegfried instead of Caesar but unfortunately on this account I'm sort of stuck with sticking with a sort of a generic front row like Caesar himself guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it and if you're new around here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload an Infinity Kingdom video if you haven't tried Infinity Kingdom yet there is a link down below to download the game absolutely for free and there's also going to be a link for their Facebook page where you can find all of this information coming out directly from the developers like they just post updates there all the time so definitely follow them on social media and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace